Yep. Yep. That's right. You read the title correctly. Unfortunately, the far and away most popular series on this channel is going to have to take an extended hiatus for a while. I'm not sure how long exactly, but um, I just spent a good chunk of today and a good chunk of yesterday, too, trying to get No Man's Sky to run properly, and it just won't for some reason. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda at the end of my rope. I, I sort of get the impression that I've been lucky to make it this far, because... I've kind of seen nothing in the comments the entire time but people being amazed at the kind of frame rate that I'm getting in this game. Even people who have like 2080 Ti's and stuff, which obviously outstrips my current build by quite a bit. The thing that was so weird the entire time is that for some reason the frame rate in my headset when I'm playing No Man's Sky in VR would just be awful the entire time. It'd be like a, it'd be like a slideshow. I was getting like 20 to 30 frames tops most of the time. But for whatever reason, the game capture out here would be absolutely buttery smooth. So as, as long as the gameplay was good for you guys, I didn't mind. I've got a cast iron stomach. I don't get motion sick. So it, was, it wasn't all that bad for me to just slog through it for the content. But now, for some reason that I cannot fathom, it appears to have reversed and I'm now in the same boat as everyone else where it runs fine in the headset, but I literally like like tested it. I used the Steam overlay to see exactly what frame rate I was clocking and I was getting about 12 frames a second. <laughs> so uh, I've been spending, like I say, a good chunk of today and yesterday trying to fix it and I can't figure out what's wrong. Um, this was supposed to be a No Man's Sky VR video today, in case that wasn't obvious. The whole reason that I phoned it in with a try not to laugh yesterday was to try to buy myself some extra time to get this figured out. And on top of that, to be perfectly honest, this has been a pretty rough week. Just in general. Something incredibly unfortunate happened. I, I don't mean to dump this on you guys. I'm just, I, I'm just trying to present this uh, in the context of explaining why it is that I'm having to skip making a video again. I actually had a ridiculously productive day on Tuesday. The, the the videos that you saw immediately following there, um, uh, Project Wingman and Boneworks, uh, were both recorded, edited, and ready to publish in the space of the same 24-hour period. I got two videos done entirely start to finish for the first time ever in a single day. Probably the highest point I've been at ever since the uh, the start of this daily challenge, which was part of the idea. I, I've, I've always kind of hoped that if I just sort of threw myself off the deep end and, 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 uh, and entered into like a, a real sink or swim, ride or die kind of situation, that eventually I'd acclimate and start to get used to a uh, consistent upload schedule. And I, I do feel like I'm still improving, even though I am still having to skip videos Every so often, I feel like I'm able to get closer to the level of production quality that I want and still be able to put out a video every day. Because I still don't want to, I, I refuse to half-ass content. If I have to do one of these and skip a day to make sure that a video is completely done and polished, then I will. Because I, I still just stubbornly refuse to buckle to the stereotypical YouTuber just pumping out of like three hours of work on a on a vlog or something every day i like to feel like i've accomplished something with everything that i upload not necessarily that i've tried something new but at least that it's on par with stuff i've made in the past and that it would be a video that i myself would be interested in watching so yeah i was a full day ahead on videos and then something happened the very next day that immediately derailed that and uh and, and i lost all of that ahead of schedule time that i had just gained i'm not going to go into the specifics of it because i don't want to call anyone out but um to put it in very very general terms there was a a certain task that i needed to perform that should have only taken up a few seconds of my time, of like my full focus, and then I could have spent the rest of it just letting this thing run in the background while also editing at the same time. But because somebody didn't send me the one sentence of text that it would have taken 
to give me a heads up about this situation, I instead ended up having to spend four straight hours devoting my entire focus to this task instead. To be perfectly honest, I'm not mad at the, 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 the person or persons who could have helped me avoid this situation because it was a very small mistake and I'm like, I'm not very far up the chain of people who get told things about this scenario. I know I'm being extremely vague. I'm sorry, but it's, it's just, it's a moral thing. I have to, I refuse to call anybody out in public. That's a shitty thing to do. But, um, like it's a small mistake. It's the kind of mistake that I can absolutely see myself making. I'm incredibly scatterbrained when it comes to like following up with people on important stuff from time to time. So I can't blame them, uh, cause that would be extremely hypocritical of me. And realistically, at most, it should have only cost me like an hour and a half tops of time. It was just, this happened at the absolute worst possible time. Just the, uh, the stars of bad luck aligned and fired an orbital beam of fuck you right down onto my upload schedule and just obliterated it. Just Thanos snap dissolved it out of existence. So obviously that was extremely demoralizing to have that happen, to, to finally be ahead of schedule for once and then not 24 hours later have all of that pissed away by circumstances out of my control. But, but, here's the thing. And this, this is how I am choosing to look at this and how I'm choosing to walk away from this. Even bearing all that in mind, if No Man's Sky had run correctly when I tried to record that the next day, I could have fully bounced back from that bad luck, continued on with the upload schedule, and you guys never would have noticed the difference. Despite the colossal amount of shit that spun through the fan and sprayed all over my chest. So I am actually, t I'm, I'm taking pride in the fact it took three separate, extremely unfortunate occurrences in tandem to break my daily upload schedule this time. And I'm actually extremely optimistic that this isn't going to happen again for a while because the last couple little like puzzle pieces of this other work that's not channel related that I've been having to keep tabs on for the last several weeks uh, I, I just put what I believe to be the last little piece of that in place today. Barring any last minute surprises, this really should be the last time that anything super unexpected like that comes up again for a good long while. So that really is uh, why I'm making this little uh, just little update vlog, this little non-video video in between type of thing today, because I could just force myself to go record another episode of something quick like Boneworks or Project Wingman or something else that I know is going to be fairly just like cut together and post because I have so much fun with those games that I barely even need to edit the videos to make them good. But I think that in this instance, it's probably smarter for me to just cut my losses on this one for today and then come back harder than ever starting tomorrow and again unfortunately no man's sky specifically is going to have to be on hiatus for a little while until i can either a figure out exactly why it is that it's that it's flipped and recording backwards now as far as frame rate or it's just going to have to wait until i can get some pc upgrades squared away which i am working on um but it's probably going to be a while and unfortunately, I, I don't I, I didn't specifically mention this yet, but that does mean that a uh, certain live stream that I promised you guys is going to have to wait for a little while because it's it's I mean, it would be the same problem. It's the, the, the Twitch stream would be like nauseating and unwatchable if I tried to do it live uh, at this point in time with the frame rate as bad as it is. That live stream will still happen at some point in the future, I promise, and I will do my best to keep you guys posted about it. But uh, yeah, for now that, that series is going to have to retire for a bit and I'm just going to have to, um, uh, probably keep flitting around from game to game like I have been for a while. Anyway, I do have a couple, couple things that I'm working on coming down the pipe though, that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. So like I say, I'm just taking today off, going to sort of take a while to regather, regroup, refuel, rearm, re everything. <laughs> and then starting tomorrow, you guys, we're gonna be in a, we're gonna be in for a hell of a hot streak. I'm calling it now. So thank you as always for listening to me 
ramble about things that a lot of you probably don't care about. I apologize again for the lack of an actual video today. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow for... Actually, I haven't even decided. What am I going to record tomorrow? I don't know. It'll be as big a surprise to me as it is to you guys. <laughs> so, but, but there will be something. There will be actual content on the channel tomorrow, I promise. And hopefully for a very good long stretch of the foreseeable future. Because like I say... Knocking on wood, but there's there's a lot to indicate that I'm done with nasty surprises for now. So thank you again, and I'll see you tomorrow.